In the vast untamed world of One Piece, legends whisper of pirates, treasures and ancient powers. The seas are filled with stories of daring adventurers, mythical islands, and the eternal quest for the ultimate treasure, the One Piece. These tales are passed down from generation to generation, growing richer and more elaborate with each retelling. Welcome fellow lore seekers to Anime Lore Unveiled, we're your one-stop destination for all things anime unraveling the deepest mysteries, exploring darkest corners and revealing the hidden truths of anime characters and worlds. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on a journey into the unknown already a part of our community. Glad you could join us once again, remember your thoughts and theories are the lifeblood of our discussions, so we invite you to leave a comment below, engage with us, challenge us, share your insights, and if you enjoy the ride don't forget to Chidori the like button, giving it that electrifying touch. Among these tales one name echoes with particular resonance, Joy Boy. A name that stirs curiosity and wonder, Joy Boy is a figure whose legacy has left an indelible mark on the world, a figure shrouded in mystery, Joy Boy's existence is hinted at through scattered clues and cryptic prophecies, ancient scrolls and cryptic symbols speak of his deeds and promises, painting a picture of a man whose actions reverberate through time. His story, though fragmented, speaks of a pivotal moment in history, a time of great upheaval and a promise left unfulfilled. The ruins of ancient civilizations and the frozen hands of time hint at a world that was once very different, a world where Joy Boy played a crucial role. Who was Joy Boy, and what role did he play in shaping the world of One Piece as we know it? Was he a hero, a villain, or something in between? The answers lie in the stories and legends that have survived the passage of time. Joy Boy's legend is deeply intertwined with the Void Century, a hundred-year gap in recorded history. This enigmatic period is a black hole in the annals of time, a century that the world government has tried to erase from memory. This period erased from the world's memory holds the key to understanding the true nature of the world government, the ancient civilization that once thrived, and Joy Boy's place within it all. The ruins of this lost era, submerged underwater and hidden in forgotten corners of the world, whisper secrets of a time when the world was on the brink of monumental change. His story is a puzzle box, each piece scattered across the Grand Line waiting to be discovered. The quest to uncover Joy Boy's legacy is a journey that takes adventurers to the farthest reaches of the seas, through perilous waters and uncharted territories. Each clue, each fragment of his story brings us one step closer to understanding the true history of the world and the promise that Joy Boy left behind. Our primary source of information about Joy Boy comes from the Poneglyphs, indestructible stone tablets scattered across the world. Etched into these stones is a lost language, one that only a handful of individuals can decipher. These cryptic messages tell of Joy Boy's life, his actions and his ultimate failure to fulfill a crucial promise. The Poneglyphs reveal that Joy Boy lived during the Void Century, a time when a powerful kingdom opposed the world government's rise to power. Joy Boy, it seems, played a key role in this conflict, fighting for freedom and justice alongside his comrades. The Poneglyphs hint at a grand plan, an attempt to create a world without discrimination or oppression. However, fate had other plans. One of the most poignant revelations about Joy Boy concerns his relationship with the Fishman Island, a nation of fishmen and merfolk residing deep beneath the ocean's surface. The Poneglyphs tell of a promise Joy Boy made to the island's inhabitants, a vow to bring them to the surface and create a world where they could live in harmony with humans. Unfortunately, Joy Boy failed to fulfill this promise. The exact circumstances of his failure remain shrouded in mystery. However, the impact of his broken vow continues to resonate throughout the One Piece world, fueling racial tensions and serving as a stark reminder of the injustices that plague society. Joy Boy's story becomes even more intriguing when we consider his connection to the ancient weapons, three objects of unimaginable power capable of destroying the world. One of these weapons, Poseidon, is revealed to be not an object, but a person, the mermaid princess Shirahoshi. The Poneglyphs suggest that Joy Boy had a hand in shaping the fate of these weapons, particularly Poseidon. His intentions however remain unclear. Did he intend to use their power to reshape the world according to his ideals, or was he seeking to neutralize their threat, preventing their use for destruction? Whispers of the Past, Laugh Tale and the Lost History The true extent of Joy Boy's story lies hidden on Laugh Tale, the final island of the Grand Line and the location of the legendary treasure, One Piece. It is on this island that Goldie Roger the Pirate King reached the end of his journey and learned the truth about the Void Century Joy Boy and the true nature of the world. Roger's reaction to this discovery was telling, he laughed, claiming that he had come at the wrong time, 
What did Roger learn that day? What secrets about Joy Boy and his legacy await those who reach Laugh Tale? The answers no doubt will shake the very foundations of the One Piece world. The Devil's Bargain, was Joy Boy's freedom bought with darkness? As we delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding Joy Boy, a chilling question arises. What if his pursuit of freedom came at a terrible cost? The existence of the world government's clandestine organization, Cypher Paul, and their ruthless methods hint at a dark underbelly to the world's power structure. Could it be that Joy Boy in his quest to dismantle the existing order, made a deal with the devil, sacrificing something precious in exchange for the power to challenge the status quo? The implications of such a bargain are staggering, suggesting that the path to freedom is rarely straightforward and often paved with difficult choices. The will of deed inherited hope or a cycle of sorrow. This enigmatic phrase has puzzled fans and scholars alike raising questions about destiny, legacy and the true nature of freedom. Joy Boy's legacy is inextricably linked to the will of D, a mysterious lineage of individuals who share a common initial in their names and an unwavering spirit. These individuals scattered across history seem to be bound by a shared fate, a destiny that transcends time and space. Monkey D. Luffy, the protagonist of One Piece, is one such individual, and his journey seems to be mirroring Joy Boy's in many ways. Luffy's unyielding determination, his relentless pursuit of freedom, and his ability to inspire those around him echo the tales of Joy Boy from centuries past. Is the will of D an inherited responsibility to fulfill Joy Boy's promise, or is it a curse, condemning those who bear it to repeat the mistakes of the past? This question looms large over Luffy's adventures as he grapples with the weight of his legacy and the expectations placed upon him. The answer it seems, lies at the heart of One Piece's central conflict, the battle between freedom and control, between those who seek to uphold the existing order and those who dare to dream of something more. As Luffy and his crew face formidable adversaries, they are not just fighting for their own survival, but for a vision of a world where everyone is free to pursue their dreams. This struggle, this eternal clash between opposing forces, is what makes the story of One Piece so compelling and timeless. The will of D, whether a beacon of hope or a harbinger of sorrow, continues to drive the narrative forward, challenging our heroes to rise above their circumstances and carve out their own destinies. The Sun God, Nika Unmasking the Warrior of Liberation Recent revelations in the One Piece manga have shed new light on Joy Boy's legacy, connecting him to the mythical sun god Nika. This legendary warrior, revered for his ability to bring smiles to people's faces and free them from oppression, appears to be more than just a myth. The connection between Joy Boy and Nika suggests that Joy Boy may have possessed extraordinary powers, perhaps even the power of the Gomu Gomu no Mi, the devil fruit that grants Luffy his rubber-like abilities. Is Luffy destined to awaken the true potential of his devil fruit and become a modern-day sun god, carrying the torch of liberation forward? Luffy Joy Boy's heir? The parallels between Luffy and Joy Boy are undeniable. Both possess an unwavering spirit, a deep sense of justice, and an uncanny ability to inspire others. Luffy's journey, like Joy Boy's before him, is one of challenging the status quo, breaking down barriers, and fighting for a world where everyone can live in freedom and equality. Luffy's actions, his unwavering belief in his friends, and his refusal to back down from a challenge, all point towards him being Joy Boy's spiritual successor. The question is, can Luffy succeed where Joy Boy failed? Can he fulfill the promise that has echoed through the ages and usher in a new dawn for the One Piece world? The Dawn of the World. What will Joy Boy's return bring? The potential ramifications of Joy Boy's return, or at least the return of someone who embodies his will, are staggering. The world of One Piece is teetering on the brink of change, the balance of power is shifting and the old order is crumbling. Will Joy Boy's return bring about the dawn of a new era, one marked by peace and equality? Or will it plunge the world into chaos, unleashing the very forces that Joy Boy sought to contain? The answer, like so much else in One Piece, remains shrouded in mystery. Unanswered questions, the mysteries remain. Joy Boy's story is a tapestry woven from equal parts history, legend, and speculation. His name echoes through the annals of time, a figure shrouded in mystery and intrigue. While we have gleaned some insights into his life, his motivations, and his ultimate fate, countless questions remain unanswered. Who was Joy Boy really? Was he a hero, a villain, or something in between? What truly transpired during the Void Century? This enigmatic period erased from history holds the key to understanding Joy Boy's actions. What events led to his downfall? And who were his allies and enemies? What is the true nature of the One Piece, and what role does it play in Joy Boy's legacy? Is it merely a treasure, or something far more profound? Could it be a symbol of freedom, a promise of a new era? 
As the Straw Hat crew continues their journey towards Laugh Tale, the truth about Joy Boy draws ever closer. Each island they visit, each clue they uncover, brings them one step nearer to the ultimate revelation. With each passing chapter, each new revelation, the puzzle pieces fall into place. The Straw Hat crew's determination and camaraderie are tested as they piece together the fragments of Joy Boy's story. The world of One Piece holds its breath, bracing for the moment when the mystery of Joy Boy is finally unraveled. The anticipation is palpable, as allies and enemies alike await the dawn of a new era, and the world learns the true cost of freedom. The sacrifices made, the battles fought, and the dreams pursued all converge towards a singular truth. The legacy of Joy Boy, intertwined with the fate of the world, will soon be revealed.